Hello everyone, welcome to Court with Christy. Today we have an OnlyFans model visiting from out of state who was arraigned on domestic violence charges. He doesn't listen to the magistrate's advice to remain silent. Perhaps it's because he might be under the influence. He seems a little drunk if you ask me. So let's just get to this. I hope you like it. Court with Chrissy is now in session. Hello, what is your name, please? Hi. All right, thank you, Mr. Hoy. Uh, let's see, we're live on the record in case 24-1844-FY. You are Zooming in with us from the Grand Travers County Jail. And also Zooming with us is Defense Attorney Ms. Conlin from the Michigan Indigent Defense Council. And sir, you're here for purposes of video arraignment. Ms. Conlin, it's my understanding that you spoke with Mr. Hoy earlier. Is that correct? That is true. Um, so we had waived a formal reading of the complaint. Uh, Mr. Hoya would stand mute. Um, is requesting that the court appoint an attorney to represent him in this matter. Okay. All right. So I'd like to remind you that you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say orally or in writing may be used against you in court. You have the right to a trial. And you have the right to the assistance of an attorney and to have that attorney present for all questioning and any subsequent court proceedings. If you can't afford an attorney, the court would appoint one for you at partial public expense if it is deemed that you qualify. So let's um, go ahead and I'll um, ask you to raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the information you're about to give me is the truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you, sir. You may put your hand down. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, do you have a local mailing address? I do not. Okay, what's a good mailing address for you? Uh, Washington, 98391. It's the home okay. I own, Washington. Okay, thank you. And uh, do you have a telephone number? Yes, ma'am. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Thank you for that. Do you have an email you utilize? Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, do you have any minor children or dependents you support? Yes, ma'am. I have three daughters in Washington. Okay. Do you um, do you pay child support on any on a regular basis or do you have partial custody it's, how does that work it's in the works there's actually currently a no contact order your honor uh i was supposed to actually have a, a zoom meeting today to deal with that um i'm in here and then there is a contract being written up right as we speak for a parenting plan and uh child support an agreement between okay. the experts, so okay thank you for that and um let's see what's your what's your living arrangement here in the greater grand Traverse county area well i was trying to establish your honor i had been kind of uh not having a very good foot on the ground ever since the divorce so i rented an airbnb for a month um, with my fiance, I have a new fiance uh, who is a uh, part of this case apparently. Um, so, what is your rental obligation that you have up here? Uh, well, I just rented it for the thirty days. It's like an extended 
air, it's like an extended stay Airbnb. So if I don't pay it, it's just like a vacation rental. I just pack up and can get another one. So, um, okay. So do you have employment? No, I have been looking though. Do you have any source of income or support? Uh, yes, ma'am. I do make some money from TikTok and I'm a sole proprietor for OnlyFans. What's your average take-home pay? Um, it just started to make money. I don't have an average. I've made about 100 so far this month. Um, it's one of those things where you build up. I had just started it. So. Okay, so $100 is what you made in the last month? Uh, well, in the last week, I hadn't been doing it for long. So uh, it would have been more than that, but uh, I okay. guess you could say yes, 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 sir. Yes. <laughs> Do you have any money in a checking account, a savings account, any cash on hand, or digital currency? No, ma'am. All right. Do you have any ownership interest in any real property or vehicles? Yes, ma'am. That is one thing I was trying to address. Uh, my truck is at the Airbnb along with um, about $13,000 in carpentry tools. And if I'm in here while the Airbnb expires, I don't believe my fiance will have the ability to move them herself. Uh, okay, I, I'd like to stop you right there. I, I can appreciate how um, anxious ridden you must be about that. But right now, I'm trying to determine if you're indigent, and whether or not to appoint counsel for you to assist in your um, ongoing legal situation. Okay. So um, what's the so you said about 13,000 in property and then what's the value of the vehicle? Um, 65,000 roughly. Okay. So this is, this is quite a conundrum. So you're, I, I, I was still paying on the truck, Your Honor. I don't actually own it. Uh, I had only made the first payment, so there's not much equity in the vehicle itself. It was something I was trying to get as a work truck to start making money. I really didn't have the money for the truck, but I had good credit. Okay. And I, I don't want you to have to sell your tools for, for legal counsel. So the court will appoint an attorney for you at partial public expense. He or she will be getting in touch with you in the next week or so. Please watch for contact from someone you may not recognize. The next step in the process is going to be a probable cause conference. That'll be on April 19th at 2 p.m. We'll also schedule a preliminary examination for April 25th at 11 a.m. You'll receive notices to appear So watch for that. Um, it does. Does this uh, mean I'm your honor? Does it mean you're, you're what? Being released. You're saying to watch out for these things, but um, I, I don't have bail. So uh, will I just be in here till this happens? Well, it, it will depend on, so the, the court will... Um, mail it to your mailing address, which you've you've given in um, Washington State. I don't know if you have someone there watching for your mail to let you know. Otherwise, um, if you're still incarcerated, it would be delivered to the jail and you'd receive it there. If you had a local mailing address, that's something you would be required to update with the um, district court criminal clerk within 48 hours of that that changing, but they will need to have a physical address for where you're you're going to be staying here locally. I want to remind you that you have a no contact order in place against you, um, so it is imperative that you not contact 
those individuals. Yeah, what I, I would I, like I, to also, in, I, I'm going to continue your bond as it stands. And then upon release, I would ask you to contact pretrial supervision and download and maintain the court fact app. And the officer will be able to go over that with you. I'd like four times daily check-ins on that. Do you have any questions right now? Um, yes, ma'am. So when I had talked to the magistrate in the meeting that I had had with her, um, the bail that was I was told was going to be set was $10,000 and a $1,000 bond. And it had changed after the meeting. I was told that because I would have had enough money to bail myself out. Um, but then they were telling me the paperwork that was submitted was something completely differently. I... So um, it looks like this was set yesterday at $20,000, 10%. So that, that would be um, a $2,000 bond amount right right I, I i agree with uh your honor but what i'm saying is what was said in the meeting was it was going to be ten thousand and then a thousand at ten percent i mean you know ten percent of that would be a thousand and then when i went to go bail out because i have my fiance with my credit card on the outside that has just over a thousand on it they told me it was now going to be 2000 because it had got like it, the paperwork came through differently from what I was told in the meeting. So, um, so I, I, I want to remind you, you're not to have contact directly or indirectly, Mr. Warren, or, um, let's see. Yes. No contact directly or indirectly. So, so no contact. Uh, okay. I'm just curious how that could be, Miss, because she's like not pressing any charges against me. I don't understand. We're not talking she about any facts of the case, and we're done okay. now. Okay. Yes, so, please remember what the terms and conditions of the bond happen to be, and we'll get some paperwork sent over to you. Yes, you can let the officer know you're all set. Thank you.